Your irrigation system needs to be maintained just like any other system that you own. You change the oil in your car, you change the battery in your smoke alarm, so at least once a year make sure that you go out and take a good look at your irrigation system to keep it working properly. The two parts of your irrigation system have to do with number one, the water or hydraulic, number two, the electric. Today we're going to be looking at what we can do to resolve some problems with the hydraulics in your irrigation system. And Derek will be showing you how you can fix some of these very easily. The first thing you want to do is turn off the water supply to your irrigation valve. This is going to allow you to open up the valve, take a look inside, and make sure that everything's working properly, in good condition, and also let you see if there may be a problem. The two items that you want to take a close look at are the diaphragm and the solenoid port. First, you wanna check the condition of your diaphragm. The diaphragm, as it ages, can sometimes get rigid and not wanna open properly, and there might be other components on it that have become worn or frayed and prevent it from operating properly as well. The other item that you want to look at closely is the solenoid port. A lot of people will miss this because it's a very tiny hole, but it's very important on the proper function of an irrigation valve. Once you've gotten inside the valve and you take a good close look at the diaphragm, if it is in need of replacing, go ahead and get that replaced. While you have the valve open, take a good look inside the valve body for any debris that may be in there. Small rocks, little pieces of uh, green, green leaf litter, wood chips, anything can get stuck in the diaphragm and cause it to get stuck open, which we call a stuck valve. A stuck valve means the water runs continuously and not only is harmful to your plants, but is a bit of a water waste as well. Um, the other component in your valve assembly that you want to service while you're in there is your filter. Make sure you open that up, take a good look at the screen filter, make sure that all the debris and silt and buildup inside there is cleaned out, and run the water, turn your water back on, run it forcefully through the filter to flush it out very well. Close it back up and then you're going to service the remaining part of your irrigation system, which is often caused by debris that's made it past all of your irrigation valve and filter and has traveled down into your lateral lines. And for that, we'll be going to the flush ends and opening those up and again, turning the water on and forcing all the debris out of the line so that you have a clean line. What this does is prevents the debris from traveling into your emitters and clogging up your emitters and you should be good to go after that. 